Shane. 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 Shane TV East Watch, your host. You know who it is. I'm coming to you guys this morning because of some disturbing news that I came across this morning. For those of you who are fans of the page, you know that I used to live in Virginia, which is 757, and we've had some news about the death of a icon in boxing, in sports period, but Pernell Sweet P. Whitaker is actually from Virginia, Norfolk, Virginia area. And for those who are from Virginia, who've lived there, who know anything about it, Pernell Whitaker is a treasure to that state that he's from. Um, Pernell Whitaker was always accessible to people. He wasn't like um, a celebrity who, much like Timbaland and the rest of the people from Virginia who you never see, et cetera, et cetera. He didn't pretend to be hoity-toity or any of those things. Like I said, I met him more than a few times, um, and he was a real down-to-earth brother. So the point is, he was a real treasure to that state. Now you have Charlemagne the God of the Breakfast Club, which appears on 102.9 or 103 Jams um, in Virginia, which is the most popular radio show in that state. And generally in the morning, so I think around 6 a.m., The Breakfast Club airs. So allegedly, Charlemagne the God went on The Breakfast Club to report about the um, tragic death of Pernell Whitaker, who was hit by a car in Virginia Beach last week. Instead of reporting on the death of an icon, instead of reporting on the death of a man who is a treasure to the state he's from, this individual takes the time to play shock jockey once again and comes out and announces that Pernell Sweet P. Whitaker dodged all those punches just to get hit by a car. And it would be something different, Charlemagne. I'm going to say this right now. It would be something different if the man got hit by the car and he just kind of sprained his knee or something of that nature. Now, it still wouldn't be necessarily funny, but he would still be alive. It would be accepted more. The fact that that man died from that, I don't think that that was an opportunity for you to um, make a joke about it. Apparently, the whole of Virginia feels the same way. Right now, they are launching a petition to take the Breakfast Club off 103 Jams. And as it stands right now, the news, um, certain newscasters and news teams are behind it. And this probably will happen. It probably will happen, or the next time you hear Charlemagne the God, he'll be um, issuing an apology, which he should do anyway to that man's family, because that was classless. And I understand uh, comedy. I'm, I, for one, am big on letting people say what they want to say, especially if you're doing it in a way that you're not trying to be malicious. But at the same time, that was horrible man, to say about people who are still grieving over their father. Over their loved one. Not to mention a whole state grieving over a a treasure. A gem from their state. And this is what you do. So, Charlemagne the God, man, just issue an apology. Hopefully that um, apology is sincere. And still, I hope that the people of Virginia take all the um, steps necessary to make sure this nigga's not on fucking um, radio anymore because that's despicable. Shame. 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 What a piece of shit.